Greetings, Facebook friends, family, or should I say greetings, Facebook family, friends, and the world. This is Mikael Eric Harris, better known as the Juice, also known as the Alkaline Water Guy. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you, Creator, for another beautiful day and for all that we have and all that we will be and will be doing and coming to. Uh... Thank you for leading God in my tongue to share what's needed to be shared. Uh, I want to share some information that me and a friend were just speaking of. And there's some things that's been on my mind, but it was confirmed by me and this, this friend of mine I was speaking to. And they were saying that they feel like something's coming. And I was saying the same thing. Um, I was saying that I've been feeling and thinking about something coming as well um, in my spirit about certain things happening. Now, if you have seen some of my old videos or have seen some of the videos that I've shared, I've shared about a dream I had back in 2008 when I it was a three-part dream. The third dream was when I went into this like little private community and saw inside the building and it said private community after seeing a lot of graffiti and stuff on the ground where it looked like it was a big celebration the night before. Then I was, as I was leaving, because the sun was coming up, as I was leaving out of the community, uh, went over this brick fence, walked around it, and um, as I was, as I was walking through and past the garden, I heard this loud siren going. Those who are in the community will be locked in the community. Those who are outside the community will be locked outside the community. And after that, uh, through the eyes that I saw, was um, people being, um, well, I say men, was in one place and they was angry. It was more like a concentration camp. Now, me sharing this information or me and this friend of mine that I was speaking to was, was sharing this information as we were speaking Came back on my thought. This is 10 years later coming up in 2018. It's a lot that's about to happen. And we have to be aware of the things that's happening, the things that's going on, and the great tribulation that's about to really start. Um, and I always speak about the tribulation. A lot of people don't realize what the tribulation means or what it's about. But it's going to be upon the people. And it talks about Daniel chapter um, in Daniel 12 and also in Revelation 12, as I always share with you, as far as I'm concerned, who I am. But um, it's a lot of stuff that's about to happen. Y'all got to be aware and understand what's happening. According to that dream, as me and my friend was talking, I was I, I just immediately said that she, uh, she asked, she said, well, what do you think that dream could mean? Then I thought about the borders that's being set up around the country, quote unquote, for the immigrants or for the outsiders not to come in. I just say it like that. But really, if you think about it, you're if they're locking people out, others are being locked in. And what came to my mind sharing this information? At this point in time, I had to jump on here real quick and before it, I lost it, before it, it went away. And I, this is something for it to be aware of and to understand. If we're locked in, think of Tulsa, Tulsa Oklahoma, Rosewood, and all these different um, things that has happened in the past. This is a small, those are small, minute situations that has happened compared to the way this country and the people that are running it at this moment in time is, can be. If they can feel like they can walk around and just do what they can, kill, murder, whatever, to people just because of who they think they are, the skin complexion, what have you. Think about locking people in and then doing the same situation. So this is something to be aware of. I'm always sharing information to be aware but it's up to you to take that information and go from there. So this is something I wanted to share. Check it out or at least think about it.
Because if you understand, if the borders are being set up around and if we're locked in and then if Tulsa, Oklahoma, Rosewood and many other things has, that has happened in time past, this is something far greater than those times because those were just one city or small towns. This is a country. So by seeing this, and understanding, understanding this, there's the tribulation, the real tribulation is about to happen, is about to begin. And I don't know where it's going to happen from this point on, but um, it's going to come to an end. How it comes, I don't know. I always say, wherever you are, whatever you study, get deep in your studies when it comes to your spirituality. I don't deal with religion, but when it comes to your spirituality, get deep in it so the spirit within you can lead and guide you to where you need to be and where and so you not only where you need to be, so you can be safe in this day and time and also for the future. Because we're gonna rise as a people and we're gonna be the anointed all over the earth. So if you're not in the fold of and I'm just Speaking, if you're not in the in the fold of the creators, or shall I say, if you're not of the anointed, because this is what the world is going to end up being. And if you don't understand scripture, if you really don't understand scripture, you don't understand that the creator is going to be in all those that's going to be on this earth. The anointed spirit will be in those in the earth. Those that don't have that spirit won't be here. And it's a cleansing going on. I always tell you, read Ezekiel chapter 9. Read Ezekiel chapter 9. You will look at it according to what it's talking about at a different time. But you, the people who know who you are and the people who don't know who you are, the ones that call themselves, I'll just say, African, American, the majority of you are the children of Israel, according to the book. And, but I'm going to say according to the prophecy. So if you recognize those people according to the prophecy and who is talking about, because now they don't actually have a real identity. They are called by proverbs and bywords. You know, um, shine, nigger, I don't like using that word, negro, African-American, black, um, all those different names are not correct names for a nation of people. But, you know, we can only be asleep for so long. A cleansing is going on, and if you don't have the spirit of the creator or the anointing spirit within you, there's nothing I can say or do. I've been sharing with you for so long all the different um, teaching spirit it has the spiritual information in it. When I say all the different teachings, it talks about how to uh, love one another as you love yourself. It talks about um, treating a person a certain type of way, or treating a person as you want to be treated, or honor thy mother and thy father, or or thou shalt not murder, and all these other different things that the commandments say, that my aunt say, the Quran say, the um. Uh, the Hammurabi Code. There's other things that's added as well. But spiritually, you know the spiritual law. And then what governs the, the spiritual law are the universal laws. I've gave, I've given 20 universal laws. i got to actually post it again because I haven't posted it in quite some time. But I've given the 20 universal laws which actually governs the spiritual laws which dwells within you. Karma is a universal law that when you do something, good or bad, that'll come back to you. So you can't get away from the universal laws. To me, that's the creator. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, I don't want to go so far into that because I can really get to speaking. Some of y'all may know that, but I'm going to try to keep this short. So just sharing this with you, check out the information, look, observe, and recognize what's going on, where you are, what you should and supposed to be doing. And um, that's about all I can say at this moment in time. Otherwise, I thank you for your time, patience, and listening there. 
And outside of that, don't forget, I am that Mikael in Daniel chapter 12, verses 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's me. Showing the holy people who they're really supposed to be. Waking them out of their dead beds, which is really in their heads. For all of you who's living in the new, this is for you. I'm the same Mikael in Revelations 12, battling that red dragon where Satan dwell, who deceiveth the whole world but prevaileth not, because the horn is blown without a doubt. This was prophesied for you to see that that Mikael is really me. Just sharing that information. Look up, recognize where we are, what's going on in this day and time. Pay attention. As the word always says, watch. Peace and love. Love you. Peace.